My name is Yusuf Hassan. I am the founder of Black Mass Publishing, and this is a film for Printing Matter. I'm here to talk about my practice a little bit today and how Black Mass Publishing uh, came about. Uh, maybe around two years ago, Black Mass Publishing was uh, not necessarily founded, but the uh, formula for Black Mass Publish Publishing was formed um, by working with uh, three friends of mine. Uh, uh, very close friends of mine, Kwame Sorrell, uh, Devin B. Johnson, and uh, Jake Mason Macklin. And uh, we actually uh, did some work uh, in which we printed um, a, a series of work through print form. And uh, they all have different practices. And I just wanted to see how that work would sit upon each other through printed material. And um, that book actually um, invited more artists as well to contribute work. So it actually uh, went from four initial people to actually being 13 artists in which um, uh, I selected and uh, asked could they contribute work. Um, the book actually never made it um, to uh, production but uh, a, a few months later, it was inquired by the Schumburg Library for Research in Black Studies. And I thought that that was a, um, an accomplishment uh, for, uh, for the book. I, th I thought that was uh, even a bigger, bigger accomplishment than actually having it go into production. Um, later on that same year, uh, later, but actually a few months after, um, I started uh, the uh, actual publishing of Back of Mass Publishing. Um, it started in August, and this was actually the first zine booklet that I did for it. It was a uh, contribute work by Frida or Frida um, who um, is a wonderful artist who I've been in conversation with for the last couple of years. Uh, she's been a uh, contribution artist to Black Mass Publishing. And uh, we've been working with each other for quite some time, uh, making uh, work through printed matter. Um, this is my workspace and, uh, you know, presentation on how the work is laid out is always a very um, a huge factor for how the work is presented. And um, I've not been printing so much as of lately, but uh, I just recently printed this one right here, uh, Shim Shim Shari, and a lot of the titles that I print usually always have a connection to jazz, and uh, this one right here was kind of like an era, it aligned, it printed not in the exact way that I wanted it to print, but it actually read very well, and it did um, a really wonderful job. Uh, uh, or an error, I guess you could say. So you have to now, it takes like, uh, you know, you have to turn the book up, the booklet upside down to read some of the poems and to see some of the, the photographs in, in the book. Um, one of my favorite pages is uh, this, this, this spread right here in which you have to turn the book upside down. Um, well, this way, yeah, to, to read it. Um, and uh, the two poems is uh, Trust and Friendship and The Star Dance. And um, it's two really beautiful poems. And then, you know, we have another, you have to turn it this way and uh, to read it. And I think that um, these are like little hidden uh, things in which uh, makes uh, this booklet cool. Um, as time went on, uh, we launched in October of last year and we launched a six booklet contribution from six artists, um, excuse me, seven. And with, uh, also, uh, printing this, this launch document right here, uh, TT, uh, the cover was designed by Kwame Sorrell. Um, and this was uh, kind of like the second big book that we did. This one actually went into production. 
um, and this one was uh, inspired off of uh, Butch Morris Conductions album, in which um, each piece was in, uh, entered uh, based off of how he composed his sets. So no book is alike, and <clears throat> the book is constantly in transition. So I'm constantly adding I'm constantly adding pages to the book. I believe it started off with 233. Um, it's now moved up to around 275 pages, and uh, it was a an, it's an addition of 50. So the last book may be uh, I don't know maybe 300 pages, but I think that's what makes it so special because the book is constantly always in transition. And I think that um, that gives it its own feel and its own um, idea on, and its own identity on how uh, I'm approaching work and how I want the work to constantly change and not to stay in its original setting. I think that's very important for Black Mass Publishing. Um, so uh, this is my workspace and it's kind of like chaotic, but I try to make the best of it. Uh, I've been working pretty steady during this pandemic. Um, Black Mass Publishing was actually amongst one of the contributing uh, publishers that was going to be uh, contributing work to um, the Transparent Library in France, and that was coming up uh, actually in April. And this was a new project that I actually made for it. It's called uh, Black Cameo. It's a spiral bound uh, book in which um, would uh, consist of um, poems, uh, photographs in which I took, and um, content that I have sourced. And uh, this was pretty much my way of a, making a film um, through print form, uh, through printed matter. And uh, I don't necessarily want to make a film in the traditional way, and I want to actually sh do, I want to show film, my version of a film through printed matter, and I thought that this was the closest, I mean, technically, still frame, uh, slow down uh, in stills is technically film works. So for me, that uh, was my idea of how I wanted to approach this project, and um, it uh, around 70 pages. Uh, it was supposed to be released later this month, and um, it's, I guess we'll release it at some time. I'm, I'm not too sure, but it was a very, it was also a very important document for me. And in addition to that, uh, Kwame actually um, contributed uh, this uh, booklet right here, Just We Fence. And uh, I don't know if I should really be. Um, speaking about his inspiration behind this book. But I, what I could say is that um, it originally started off like this. This was the mock copy that he did and he um, composed this work while he was um, studying in France last year and which he would attend the flea market every so often during his stay there and he uh, would take photos out of it, out of the, the books, out of the uh, cyclopedia and kind of like just build his own idea of how he wanted the images to be placed. Again, I don't, I don't know if I should be, like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's up to Kwame to explain how these two projects came about. But um, this was actually one of the, the books that was, uh, the booklets that was being contributed to that project uh, later on uh, this month in France. I think they got a chance uh, to, uh, to make it. But um, there's something else that I wanted to uh, show. Um, I've also been archiving a lot of the material that I print, both materials, some of which is uh, not, never made it into production and some that have been made, made it into production. So all the zines that I have uh, and booklets that I have uh, designed and printed is just part of my library as well. My library is constantly building. Uh, it does not just consist of uh, material that I have printed for Black Mass Publishing, but I am also um, developing a a uh, a paper uh, library in which um, I will be adding uh, different textures of paper to my library, and I also feel like that's a, a huge. Uh, 
part of the DNA of Black Mass Publishing is how we source paper and how uh, experimental we are with paper and uh, mixed media and how we um, engage with uh, printing. Um, there was a uh, a a uh, it was a uh, a paper shop in New York called uh, Paper Central a few years ago and. Uh, it closed down. It closed down a few years ago, but they were there for decades, and they had like some of the best papers that I um, that I had a chance to go through. And it was just one of these papers uh, that I sourced from there. It was this Indian linen, I believe, Jap Japanese linen paper that was infused with cotton, and. We're going to be archiving a lot of this paper. Some of it is from different uh, regions. A lot of it is from different regions. And we, we use pay, uh, uh, different styles of paper on, uh, on, in the publication. It's a huge uh, part of the, the, the DNA of Black Mass Publishing. And uh, it plays a huge part in the, the printing the practice. And my, my rule for me is I'll print on anything as long as it feeds through the printer. So I think that that's a very important element for me. Um, Black Mass Publishing is constantly in transition. It's constantly looking to work with uh, artists from all over the world, um, African in the diaspora. And we are constantly uh, developing different ways in which we can engage in print and uh, larger the conversation and the things that we want to do and say through print. And I think that right now, um, the conversation, uh, it, print is, is not the only way of starting the conversation, but it's an entry point into what we want to say. And I think that that's the very important part of uh, the DNA of, of Black Mass Publishing. Uh, Steve Cannon, who's been a very huge uh, inspiration to Black Mass Publishing. I had a chance to see Steve Cannon uh, before he passed away last year, and he invited me over to his home, and we sat and we spoke. So if you're all not familiar with Steve Cannon, Steve Cannon was actually one of the contribute uh, directors on uh, Bill Gunn's um, personal problem with Ishmael Reed, uh, and uh, I he... he gave me some gems before before he passed away and I was telling him what I was doing and uh, he kind of like gave me his blessings and uh, I, th I thought that that was a, a very important um, aspect also to Black Mass Publishing and, and TT um, the very uh, this is the mock -up. wait yeah, it is. So he has a section in which we dedicate uh, a poem of his. It's called No Small Matter. And uh, I'll read it to you. Uh, what does it matter when nothing matters, when everything is in tatters, scattered, like uh, penciled and disappearing into the darkness? Steve Cannon. And I printed it on blue paper because to me, um, blue is the unofficial color of jazz, I would say. And this is a portrait of Steve Cannon in front of his apartment door in New York. So, and then I'll, I'll, I'll read another poem. This one is um, by Ted Jones, and it's called Alone. Um, a friend told me he's risen above jazz. I'll leave him there for Miles Davis. So you can pretty much uh, figure that one out for yourself. Uh, I thank you for allowing me to um, give you a little insight about Black Mass Publishing. Um, I look forward to the growth of Black Mass Publishing and all the things that it stands for and everything that we want to accomplish through printed matter uh, moving forward. Thank you.